Endings, endings are always tough. Uh, but yet, yeah, I'm going to look back at this as tough as tonight is. I'm going to look back at this uh, with a very positive, uh, uh, a very positive. Yeah. Uh, this team's been through uh, a great deal. This team had a, uh, a lot of challenges and big new faces. This team had a very, very difficult schedule. Uh, and yet, um, they stayed together, they persevered, they established our culture. And uh, I think it's, it's nice when you look down tonight, you see um, three freshmen uh, as our top four scorers, another sophomore. And uh, uh, you, you, you look back at the years that those, those Iowa and Georgia had, uh, I think they've got to go down as, as some of the greats. Uh, all-time greats in the history of the world of basketball, and uh, uh, and yet uh, uh, there, there's there's a lot of growth to be had. The best thing about now is we can go have an off season. Uh, it doesn't take a genius to see we need to continue to work in the weight room. We get stronger. That's the best thing about freshmen as they become sophomores. And uh, but our culture was established. Our work ethic was was very good. Uh, there's sure there's things we've got to get better at. Uh, we've got to continue to add pieces to grow this program, but um, Iowa is the better team tonight. Give them credit. Uh, we've been very, very good. We've been a top 20 team guarding the three-point line. You would never know that in the two games we've played uh, Iowa. So uh, they're to be commended for a great game, and uh, we should not be the class tonight. Greg, you did that kind of thing last year. You wanted to bring in your own guys. How important is that, and how confident are you? Well, I mean, we're in a world today where there's 800 plus transfers, and 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 we've got a uh, uh, we've got a situation where you at this level you know, recruit players that uh, are always going to have the option, the opportunity to look at the next level, and that's all we can do. And uh, and yet, it was about establishing our culture, and and we got that done. And uh, uh, you know, that's the that's the piece that uh, uh, allows Illinois basketball to be good. And, you know, you get uh, get these guys back as sophomores and, and juniors and a year of experience and, and uh, keep adding guys. Um, recruiting never stops. And uh, you know, then you've got a chance to sit in this locker room and, uh, and, and not too distant the future and, and be here on Saturday or Sunday. What do you see Tevion's role next year? He played more minutes tonight, he scored. And just wondering, you know, where do you see him fitting in? Well, he's an elite scorer. And that's one thing that, uh, uh, you know, he had some challenges early and some difficulties early. Uh, I think that, uh, uh, you know, Tevin would probably admit that uh, maybe he had some unreal expectations early. And, uh, you know, finding out that how, how mental the game is, how physical the game is. I'm excited for a guy like Tev, a guy for Allen, like Allen, a guy like Samba, uh, to get in the weight room and, and understand how much confidence comes with that. And, uh, you know, they all they all got playing time, they all got minutes, and so they can uh, uh, take that weight room and that strength and the toughness that comes from that and, and uh, put it into their games, and they'll be they'll be a big part of what we do. Yeah, you've never had two seasons like this, two losing seasons. How can you handle the highs and the lows of what these two years have been like? Well, I knew what I was going to get to when I took them down. Uh, this is year one. It's year two of my contract. This is year one. Last year we. Uh, uh, you know, we got through and we knew uh, that there would be some, some, some ups and downs. And uh, this year we, uh, we were dealt uh, an unfortunate hand kind of with our, with our schedule being so tough. But I think we've, uh, we've handled that, we've established a culture. I've said it many times. It's not about having great teams. You, you can go look at any publication. We just went out. I think Illinois was the ninth ranked uh, program in terms of, of, of revenue and it's big business, and this program deserves to be great, not just have great teams, and there's a difference. So you've got to lay the foundation, you've got to build it. There are going to be ups and downs in doing that, uh, and you've got to go through that process. There's no shortcuts, and uh, I'm very proud of this group. I love coaching them every day, and, uh, and we're not taking shortcuts in this program. With that being said, how important is this offseason season? The oh, players you bring in and the weight room and everything else. Going on. Well, we've got a we've got a great opportunity because we have got the best strength coach in the country, and uh, you know we'll, uh, you know a guy like Io's Io hasn't had any time off. He needs a break, 
and uh, and yet uh, you know he also needs to, to continue to grow in the weight room. Georgie, all those guys, Fletch will set out a, a plan, and and then we've got individual things on the basketball court that uh, each one of them have to get better at, and uh, we work to work to do that. We've got all summer, um, and then we'll. Uh, We'll have an opportunity. Uh, we've got a trip to Europe planned in August, so we get actual game experience, and that can be huge, uh, you know, for the new guys that come into the program and, and uh, start blending this all together. So what's the key to taking the next step defensively? Size. I mean, we've been we've been challenged all year. Uh, AJ did an incredible job for the most part, of trying to battle teams with big fears. It's a great example, and uh, you know when you've got to uh, continually be undersized and undermanned, uh, you know we're, we're, we're looking to do that. That will help a lot of things. Uh, and then I think you know we made huge strides. Our chemistry became better. Uh, you start throwing guys back there who can, who can protect the rim a little bit better, uh, and that's something that uh, uh, we'll continue to address in the, in the recruiting. But uh, uh, we made a lot of strides, and we're going to continue to get better. But size will, will, will help uh, alleviate some of those difficulties we have in protecting them. I know you said that you wait to the end of the year to sort of look into the moments and you know, just the season holistically. What's that process going to look like for you now? Just looking back and evaluating. Yeah, it's, it'll start tomorrow. It'll start tomorrow. I usually take a couple of weeks I, I, as things as things unwind for me. I write them all down. I'm um, really good at doing that in the middle of the night or and, you know, when I concentrate and just kind of get away from it or sitting on a plane flying, um, you know, start looking back, sitting with our staff. Um, so, you know, we'll take a couple of weeks and, and then we'll start, um, you know, putting individual individual needs together for guys uh, to work on. And, and uh, you know, we always talk about the future with recruiting, but sometimes we have to sit and take a look back and reevaluate then through the course of the summer I'll watch uh, most all of these games again and uh, you know try to put a plan together that works to uh, take care of mistakes and then help these new guys uh, understand what conversations will you have with Iowa and how will you measure him in whatever decision he makes this oh summer? we'll talk about that at, at some other time that's you know those will all become family decisions and, and uh, gathering information is the most important piece uh, of that for him, and, and uh, uh, you know he's he's had a uh, he's had a great freshman year. as has Georgie, and uh, you know they'll uh, eva evaluate their own processes, by, uh, what they feel is important and best for them. Yeah. I don't know. Joey's got it. I think Italy. I think it's Italy. So we're excited. We get to do that in August and play three or four games and. And the important thing is that he can get 10 practices uh, around that, so there'll be more information out about that as it uh, unfolds. And some good meals, right? Some good meals and some really good wine. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want good the guys in the locker room to take away from the season? Uh, growth. I, you know, there, there's so much. They'll look back on this uh, and understand how much this season meant. Next year, at this time, and how important it was to go through the trials and tribulations. There's so many life moments in this year, and and when you're 18 years old, 19 years old, you don't, don't understand life yet, and you think it's all roses, and they dealt with very little adversity, and uh, you know you only become better when you deal with adversity, and and there was a lot, and and there were a lot of challenges, and. Yet the one thing that we do need to do as a team is get a foothold on confidence because of the schedule. And yet, I have no regrets about the schedule. Uh, and uh, you know, I think we can we can we can look back and a year from now we sit in here and, and, uh, and say, man, you know, having gone through all those battles and having done this and done that. Uh, those experiences won't be new anymore. They'll be experiences that uh, we've grown from. How would you evaluate this season yourself as a, as a coach, just as an individual? Ask some players about how they evaluate themselves. Oh, I do. I, like I said, I'm really critical of myself. 
you know, I look back and um, I think it's really challenging you know, right after the right after a game on the last day. But I do think the one thing that, that uh, you know, wasn't the easiest year for me, you know, having a knee replacement and hindering a few things, you know, early on. Uh, but that's that's part of it. That's you know we managed through that. But uh, you know I, I'll, I'll 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 have a better answer to that in maybe a month uh, as I evaluate it. And, and you know I always ask my staff you know to be pretty critical of me and and what what we can do better. And I'm not afraid to hear the truth and and hear the mistakes. And, and that's the only way that uh, we can continue to grow. And uh, I'm blessed. I got great staff. And, and, uh, you know, between now and then, I'll probably hear all the problems from my wife. So we'll be uh, we'll, we'll get her critique as well. Right. Some of the guys said last year at this time they were kind of waiting for the season to end, and maybe not definitely not the case now. How different is this versus where you guys were last yeah, year? It's it's you know I don't want to. This year was fun. This year was enjoyable, and and uh, that that lets me know right there that these guys are. It's about the culture. That's the culture piece. And and as we continue to grow on the basketball court, the culture piece doesn't wane, it doesn't go away. And we've established we've established, you know, being on time and, and, and how hard you have to work in practice and, and going to class and whatever the, the little things are. And I, you know, I, again I'm gonna say it, you know, Illinois is gonna be a great program. And we're not just going to have good teams, but we're going to have a great program. And for those guys to say that, we've achieved that. We've achieved that. And, yeah, I don't look at the wins and losses. For me, it was about the process this year. And uh, you know, we've got to uh, continue to grow, continue to get better. Absolutely.